Second Lieutenant Bertie Carr, just three weeks out of training, prepares his troop for a major advance on Taliban positions. We intend to occupy the key terrain of Roshan Hill, unknown left, and to hold this ground and protect friendly forces from the enemy threat to the north. The Royal Marines at Kajaki in southern Afghanistan clear a helicopter landing site on the eve of a major attack on an enemy mountain called Sparrowhawk. The main effort ultimately remains the occupation of Sparrowhawk east and west. Bertie Carr is part of the Royal Marine effort to defend the strategically vital Kajaki Dam and hydroelectric power plant from a Taliban desperate to control it. Surrounded on all four sides, the British must dominate the high ground. They already hold two of the highest peaks. They now intend to take a third, called Sparrowhawk. The Royal Marines are the main force in the area, but are supported by various pro-government Afghanis. There's quite a few players here. There's the Afghan National Police, the Afghan National Army. There's uh, the uh, Helmand Security Force, which is a local militia. Um, and uh, so they're all they're all on site. They're all here to protect the dam and, and extend the sort of security. And just to achieve what you need to achieve, you all need to work together. So yeah, they're, they're friendly. They are very friendly. Yeah. The first time I went up on that first patrol, a man puts his hand on my face and says, uh, "I would sacrifice myself and all my men before I would let you lose a hair from your head." And uh, this is me, first patrol out. Um, haven't come under contact yet, but you know, it's still all a bit sort of new to me. And uh, you don't really know what to say to match it. Um, thank you. I think. <laughs> but that's how they do things. You know, their their friends are their great friends, but they're great people. They're very very welcoming. Just uh, at the moment, though, this area is so complicated and messed up that it's a it's just a shame. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. In Kajaki, Bertie and some of his troops celebrate Holy Communion. In the briefing room, Marty Collins, the company commander, explains his strategy against the Taliban to pro-government Afghanis. My overall intent is to expand the area that the government of Afghanistan dominates and influences. I'll remind you that my men were deployed here to improve the security situation here and specifically to create the conditions that would help the construction around the dam to restart. And when the Taliban want to stop us, we will fight. At the dam, one of the turbines is kept operating by a few loyal and courageous employees who often run the gauntlet to Taliban fighters just to get to work. The problem here is um, every time they come to the checkpoint, uh, the Taliban are holding them back, pretending to search the vehicle for, for extra um, time, and then they're actually firing at the British, knowing that the reaction that they get from us is that we're going to fire back with the right to defend ourselves. And what they're trying to do is to get us to kill one of these, and then they can say, look, the British are killing innocent people. And you can see these people, you know, again, they're very friendly, they're well on side, and you can understand their concerns. As with all wars, innocents can so easily get caught in the crossfire. All I ask for you is that when you are going to have a shift change, that you speak to us, and I will do my bit, and I will tell our guys on the top of the hill, you see that black M vehicle, please hold your fire, even if we get shot at, okay, until they've actually cl crossed the line. We're here at the end of the day to get the security and to hopefully make your job secure, but also your families to come back here and work here. I must apologise because I cannot explain all my plans or they will become widely known. I must ask you to trust me when I ask you to provide men. To start with, I just need 10 people to turn up this time tomorrow. We have guns and we have very fit men, but without the knowledge and the Afghan voice that you guys provide, we do not have any strength at all. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. Now let us off each other sign of peace.
Royal Marines at their base in Kajaki are preparing for a big assault on Taliban positions in the next few days. Not something that seems to be of any concern at all to the Marines' adopted dogs, who have free run at the base. The guys are here will make their way across to Sparrowhawk east and west, which will then give us arcs to view and fire to the north and to the west. The dogs, oblivious that they live in a violent war zone, simply assume that the Royal Marines have been sent to Gajaki to play with them. One of them is called Asbo because he's a complete nuisance. But it's the black one that has won the hearts of the commandos. Yeah. It's hanging. Yeah, you can see it's not clean. I'll probably be in trouble. I'm not supposed to have dogs, but he's now a British dog, and he's recognised throughout uh, the local population as a British dog. He's <laughs> got yeah. such a good temperament, a good set of teeth. He's so soppy. Chicken? No, not today. In Kajaki, Bertie is heading out on night patrol to visit Afghan police positions in the mountains from which he can monitor enemy activity. But someone's decided he didn't want to be left behind. Bang it! Bang it! For fuck's sake. As Tangi and the patrol move deeper into the mountains, helicopters bring in extra ammunition and reinforcements for Operation Sparrow Hawk. Yeah, who's that? Abdul Ali. Yeah. How's it going? You're well? Yeah. Good to see you. Ah, Shah Ali, Shah Ali. Shah Ali. Sing it. Shah Ali, Shah Ali, come. No, not today. Ah, you have to be very polite, because uh, that's a whole part of the custom. You can't just say hello, you sort of ask after, after his men, how they are, how he is, how his family is. Um, it's a big process. And, uh, and it goes a long way, because a lot of their support is just due to the fact that they, uh, they like us. After the greetings, Bertie's patrol moves on to their lookout positions. Even Tangi helps keep watch, quite unfazed by the distant gunfire. Tangi, get out of the way. When we took over from the Paras back in September, Tangi was about that big, so it's quite nice, you know, sort of, uh, seeing, seeing him uh, grow up. That's a bit of morale for the lads that look after, look after him. But he's also bloody annoying and uh, insists on coming out on every patrol. Yeah, there's a lot of gunfire in the region of the north, northeast century. Over. Tanky. Go on, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, all right, Roger. Two's your alpha, that's all. Ow. Tangy. You're disgusting. Bertie and his 11 troop continue to monitor the enemy positions firing into the night. And Tangy? Well, it's been a long day. The day comes when the Marines in Kajaki start their long-awaited climb to take Sparrowhawk Mountain. And immediately, the Taliban open fire from the plain below. Two miles away, Bertie, his 11th troop, and some government Afghan soldiers dig in on Roshan Hill to protect the northern flank from enemy attack. We've got five Afghan army. You can see them. Uh, my guys trying to deal with them without a turp. Richie Rawlins over there. Um, it's quite... Quite entertaining. Right now, though, Bertie and his men can only watch on frustrated as the distant firefight rages. On Roshan Hill, 11 Troop continues to look on as a battle rages in the distance, learning one of the most frustrating truths of war, that it's 10% action and 90% boredom. They've watched action at a distance all day and have yet to fire a shot in anger. Sir? Yeah? Of course, want an early ammunition and casualty count. Is, is that from Pete? Hello. Tell them the whole troop, OK, ammo, none. No change. No change. Fucking... <laughs> well, is that a fight? Battle all day. That's a fight, isn't it? That's rubbing in, isn't it? <laughs> what are you lads been up to all day? Any casualties? You don't need ammo? No, you fuckers. We've been doing nothing. 
Within a matter of hours, Bertie Carr and his men are fighting for their lives. Get down, it's cover. Get down, it's cover. Down. 